Hi everybody. Welcome to the bookshop. This is Shelly. This is a journal flip through and it is the third time I have done this. It is so big that it takes an hour to do the flip through, which is just way too long. Nobody wants to see a journal flip through that takes an hour. <laughs> Not to mention my camera keeps telling me that I've reached the maximum file size at like 47 minutes and then it shuts off. So I don't want to have to worry about splicing two videos together. I just want to take about 20 minutes off this video. So I'm going to have to go kind of quick at times. I might even, you know, I'm not going to show every single journaling card. There are 150 journaling cards, so I don't think you need to see them all. A lot of them are, are duplicates and stuff too. So the facts though, the stats, it's eight inches by five and a half, has a spine that's a little over two inches. You can see how fat it is. It has four signatures. This fifth one, these are sewn in, is an envelope. Metal corners. Pretty filigree. This is basically a holder for the um, closure, which is a pretty purple and lavender striped um, tie. It's I named it the um, Lavender Chateau. It's got the fabric cover, this pretty French kind of theme and then the papers lots of purple in here different shades of purple lavender lilac um, the main kit is from Caroline's craft tree on Etsy and it's called the lovely lavender journaling set and then there's a lot of papers from die cuts with a view and the stack is called the Chateau lavender stack so that was where I got the name um, there's a lot of other papers in here from other people, too, but I'll talk about them on the way. Uh, Ephemeris Vintage Garden, one of the main ones, Faith and Hope Designs. Um, so this is the Lavender Chateau with the gardens. It's all about the gardens where they grow hundreds of beautiful purple flowers. Um, this is the envelope that is sewn in. First of all, we got these two large journaling cards. They're blank on the back, and you can stick them in oh, wherever you want. This pretty envelope. This is one of the designs from Faith and Hope Designs. This has got a Velcro closure, journaling cards, and there's also some little die cuts in here just for playing with the this is from the stack these two are from faith and hope designs and then this is one that i designed there's a set of four of these are all different but i designed them and then there's a set of four postcards too that i design so just to save time i'm not gonna put stuff back in we got a pretty purple this is from a website called um, Free Pretty Things For You. She's got lots and lots of free pretty stuff. <laughs> this picture is from the, the paper stack. And this is um, the Sacred Heart Basilica in Paris. Here is this tag is from the paper stack. And then I stamped it and the story begins. There's quite a few of these just paper I had that I printed a long time ago sheet music on some like purple paper and then the first time I printed this it came out blue so I've cut it up and you'll see pieces of that in here lots of lined paper lots and lots of journaling space um, I don't think I said, did I, that it's 192 pages. I know I said there's 150 tags, so it's a lot of writing room. This paper is called Theodosia Square. It's by the Paper Studio. There's a few different sheets of that in here. This is my design. 
And this is going to be on the second page of every single signature. Um, this is from the kit, the Lovely Lavender Journaling Set. When I say the kit, that'll be the Lovely Lavender Journaling Set from Caroline's Craft Tree. There's a lot of the papers um, on the back are freebies that I got from Deli Girl in 1964 or 1961. And this lace one is one of them. This is a book page pocket. Got my little butterfly, one of my signature things, along with putting um, corresponding coordinating paper around the edges to strengthen it. This is um, Tsunami Rose. And there's a set of five of these, but I think I printed it twice. I think there's 10 total of these, these library cards in here. That's from Faith and Hope Designs. This is an old Tim Holtz paper. This came from the Graphics Fairy. It's designed by Diana of the Dreams Factory. And there's about 10 of these in here. And there's also some hydrangeas that match this. And they're all throughout the journal. This is from the kit, the lavender, lovely lavender kit. This is decoupage. I printed this on tissue paper and put it in here. Here's another one of those. This is Faith and Hope. This is a postcard from Tsunami Rose. Um, I should picked out all the purple postcards and added them to the journal. Coffee dyed paper. Pretty flowers. It's a digital stamp actually this is the theodosia square paper these birdie dolling cards are from janet k this is an ephemeris vintage garden and then this is from the kit there's a lot of these in here she has them in the in the lavender kit in two sizes so you'll see the large ones and then you'll see them again in a smaller card And then these, there's two of these bags. They're folded, so you'll see half and half. So you'll actually see like four of them. And they all have kind of the same thing. They all have one of these. They all have a card from the lavender kit. They all have one of these. These are from a website called Go Bake Something. So I might not pull them all out. And then they're each going to have a postcard that I designed. So, yeah. All... Four of the bags are very similar. Um, the bags, I believe, come from Tattered Dream. This is from the paper stack. This is some pretty lace that I sprayed with some ink. This is from that Go Make Something. This I printed out. It's the same as that decoupage paper. This is from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. It's an almond tree branch. And I have a couple of these. I think there's one with different backgrounds. And this is... Uh, now I forgot if it's Ephemera's Vintage Garden or Tsunami Rose. I think this is Tsunami Rose. Nice big cards. Lots of my cards are lined on the back too. Let's see. For writing. Here, let's just I gotta save time. These these are both by Deli Girl 1961. Stamping in the corners. This paper, this is so pretty. And this is the first time I ever used some of the um, powder, the embossing powder. Isn't that pretty? I love that. <laughs> I gotta use that more. Lines made with uh, the corrugated cardboard. This is just a little bookmark. This is from Ephemeris Vintage Garden. This paper, Paris in My Heart Kit. Got doily pockets. This is a mini journal. This cover, this is uh, Faith and Hope Designs. Faith and Hope Designs does religious kits, but they don't have um, scripture on it. So you could use the papers for anything. I use them all the time. This is 
mostly blank paper. There's a little butterfly. And lots of blank paper. Just for writing. So. Tsunami Rose. This is from the paper stack. And then each of the center has little beads. Two of the centers have the little pearls with the purple beads. I think the purple beads are amethyst, but I'm not sure. I got them from an old one decade rosary bracelet that I have had for a long time. And then some of them have silver beads with the amethyst bead. These are um, two envelopes. One from the kit, one I just made, and they each have two postcards in them from the Graphics Fairy. More stamped, lined, Belly Girl 1961. See, there's lots of writing room, lots and lots of places to write. This one has the postcard, lavender, this is my design, more lined, blank paper. This is the other side of the decoupage one with the pretty lace. I love this lace. Came out really pretty. This is some more of that paper. This is a Faith and Hope designs. And then a, just an old dictionary page with coffee dyed paper sewn on. And then there's four of these. These have the pretty marbling designs and they'll each one have a word on it. This is a old from old, like a self-help deck. And I sewed coffee dyed paper to the back of them. I was gonna cover this word, but I decided I'll just leave it and the owner can do what they want with them but each of them they're all four purple I pulled the four purple ones out of the deck and I thought they were so pretty here's a book page pocket more dictionary page another one of those a tag and then there's a tag up here this is a Femmer's Vintage Garden and there's, I think, three or four of those in here. That's from the kit. This is my fine paper. And that is the first signature. Second signature. This is a map of the gardens. This is pretty tall paper. One of these, Tsunami Rose. I love this how it looks all faded. I think that's because I copy dyed it after I printed it. I love the color though. And this is from the Lovely Lavender Kit. This is my design. That's what I was saying was going to be on the second page of each signature. And then from the, the next three signatures, all three, the third page is going to have the butterflies on this side and then the hydrangeas on this side. I just uh, digital stamped these hydrangeas on there. Pretty from Go Make Something. Little library card that I designed. And then this is from the lavender kit. This is from the paper stack. This I think came from the Graphics Fairy and then I printed these purple flowers on it. Lined paper, book page kit. I need to unplug this. This. It has one of those butterflies on it. Old dictionary. This big card is just an old a greeting card. I cut off the side that had the writing on it. And then I used some glitter glue and got that blue glitter on there. From the 
journal from the kit, the lovely lavender kit. Another one of the purple tags. This is from the paper stack. And then this is one of those cards with the purple marbling on it. That deck, I think it was from the 90s. And it's called Reflections with an X. Ephemera's Vintage Garden. An old black and white picture of the Eiffel Tower. And lots of writing room. This is a large one of the basket with the lavender in it and looks like oils and stuff. And then this image is from the Graphics Fairy. More writing room. There's the other side of that. This paper is a Deli Girl, Deli Girl 1961 paper. There's another one of them, another doily, the other side of the Ephemeris Vintage Garden Papers. These are a really pretty kit. There's a tag from the Lovely Lavender Kit, a Tsunami Rose postcard. And there's a couple of these in here. These are one of the first things I printed when I first started doing junk journals. It came from Pinterest. I don't take much from Pinterest anymore unless I can trace it back to like the original poster. Yeah, here's another one of those. And then this is my design library card. There's, I don't know, four or six of those. Oh, this is one of mine too. And then there's, this is kind of a cool card. I have this as a page in one of the signatures too. It's by Magic Moonlight Studio. digital stamp lined paper that's the other side of that graphics fairy paper and then here's the other almond tree thing that's from Vemmer's Vintage Gardens Tsunami Rose this is one I made but I only made part of it I added the yellow flowers I forget who originally did this card with the little poem in the birdcage but I added the yellow flowers and the yellow butterfly this is a little garment hook and it has this is a beautiful purple stone it's uh from a vintage bracelet one of those bracelets that would have the rocks on it I think all the the rocks are precious semi-precious gemstones so it might be a real amethyst. It's very pretty. With good condition. There's more of the hydrangeas and the lavender and the butterflies. This is cool paper from Theodosia Square. And then I love this towel. On the back, we've got a book page pocket. This is some very old paper. And these are rub-ons, which I love to use rub-ons. <laughs> this is a faith and hope tag. This has a one, two, three, four pockets from the kit. And then another piece of that from the first page. Book page tag, uh, library card. Here's one of the hydrangea cards. And this is from the kit ticket. So this is the third signature. And we've got more large, pretty cards lined on the back. A lot of them are lined. And then in here they're lined too, so you can write in there. There's one of the pieces of blue. There's a Tsunami Rose library card and a piece of that paper. This is Theodosia Square. This is going to have the lavender on back and then the butterflies. Hydrangeas. This paper is really pretty. It's from the Chateau Lavender stack. Now this paper is colored with chalk. I like to do that in my journals. I usually do one or two pages. This is from the 
Lavender Chateau stack. This is one of the Janet K cards. There's four of these. And then just a pretty journaling card. It says Peaceful and Tim Holtz paper. This is from the Lovely Lavender Kit. Uh, Femmer's Vintage Garden, Paris in My Heart. This is some coffee dyed paper with a doily. And then another, some old book pages. Boy, when you push down on these, you can't even get the papers out. They're like, feel like they're glued in. You just have to relax it and then they'll slide out. This is another Faith and Hope one. Oh, pretty butterfly. From the stack that has the lavender and these have just little thin glitter around the edge. They come like that. It's really a nice little touch. Dictionary page. This is a Faith and Hope. This goes with this. And these have the glossy accents on them. A lot of the butterflies I did that. That was my first time using that stuff. Another one of those. Okay, here's another one of the bags. Same thing, lavender, the purple card, one of my postcards. Here's another one of my cards I designed. The doily pocket. Here's one of the hydrangea cards. These two are from Astrid's Artistic Efforts. She has a page of freebies. She has beautiful, does beautiful work. More lined pages. This paper is from the Lovely Lavender Kit. This is from the Chateau Lavender Stack. I love the glitter pages, I have to admit. Okay, here's two of the bead strands are up inside the book, and two of them hang out, or four total, but two signatures, I guess. They hang out the bottom, and two of them are up inside. There's a birdie darling, tsunami rose, and then one of the little lots of lined paper. That's the Paris in my heart, Femmer's in each garden. Here's another one of the bags, same thing, another postcard, purple card, lavender, and from the lavender kit. Another one of these, book page pocket. It's got the, something from the kit in here. This is from the kit. This is from the stack, it's glittery. This is from Faith and Hope Designs. This, one of the large cards. I printed lines on the back. You know, this is a large tag, so it comes with a few of these. I think this is the first one we've seen. That's pretty, too. And then a Tsunami Rose and a Hydrangea. And here are some mason jar tags from the Lovely Lavender Kit. Tsunami Rose. Purple. Go make something. That's where those purple ones come from. And then another large pocket made of a different lace. This one has paper in it, so you have a pocket here and a pocket behind the paper. This big tag is a Tsunami Rose. I love the colors, the purple and the green. And then we've got another purple tag. This is from the Lovely Lavender Kit. And then I really love this. Everybody's making the mason jars, but this is like a, a creamer jug or a milking jug with the pretty, the wooden handle and the little bird on it. Isn't that cute? It's so different. It's nice to see something different. The Theodosia Square paper with the lavender on the back, and then the butterfly paper from Faith and Hope Designs, hydrangeas, and a little pocket 
Uh-oh. Tsunami Rose. This is so cute with the lavender and then the little dragonflies on it. And then a small lavender card. This paper comes from the, the stack inside. This is another um, decoupage paper. Printed on tissue paper and then some more of the lace that I colored with the Ink Essentials from Ranger. There's a large tag. And a Tsunami Rose tag. And then this has another one of those um, from that self-help deck. They have the coffee dyed paper on the back, and it's got the pretty purple marbling. It just reminds me of what Nick the Booksmith's been doing, making those marbled papers. Those are so pretty. This is that paper from Magic Moonlight Studio. And this is from the Lovely Lavender Kit. This lace, this is a Deli Girl 1961. And there is the Chateau. Deli Girl, more lined paper. She has a lot of um, freebies of the of lined paper for the backs. This is from Graphics Fairy. Deli Girl 1961 has some of the most beautiful kits I've ever seen. Um, I can't really afford them. They are a little more expensive, but you know what they say, you get what you pay for. I really do think she has some of the prettiest kits you can buy. And I am going to buy one sometime. I appreciate everybody's freebies. I mean, I, I use a lot of freebies. This is from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. But I have purchased a lot of kits from Ephemera's Vintage Garden, also from Tsunami Rose. Um, I bought Caroline's Lavender Kit and her Rose Kit, both of which are beautiful. These are two more from Astrid. Love those. Purple. And they have the birdie darling on them. More lined paper. Ephemera's Vintage Garden. The Tsunami Rose lined paper. This is from the Chateau Lavender stack. This is also covered with chalk. Different color. Mm. And a Tsunami Rose postcard. Those are almost the exact same color. I love how that worked out. And then these two cards are from the Lovely Lavender Kit. And this is the middle of the signature. Boy, we're almost done with this last one. We're not even quite 30 minutes. Oh, that's good. Femmer's Vintage Garden. Lots of coffee dyed paper. Here's another pocket. Now, this pocket I learned to make from Patricia Viramontes. It has what I call the ticket pocket. So it's the perfect place for little tickets and little tags. These are from the Lovely Lavender Kit. And then we've got both of these are from the kit. See this pocket, I, I did the lining. Most of the book pages I use are from an 1887 dictionary or a, a 1907 almanac. And so the paper is very fragile. I usually glue two pieces together for a lot of things. The book pages, when you're going to take tags in and out, in and out, I think it's really good to reinforce it like that. There's the chateau again. That's kind of a close-up of it. Or the lace background paper. And that's from the lovely lavender kit. We got lined paper. Um, I made this a long time ago. This French paper I think I got from Graphics Fairy and then just added the little, the wreath, and there's a purple butterfly over there and the crown up there. This is the other side of the decoupage. 
with a little pocket. These are both from the paper stack, Tim Holtz and Faith and Hope designs paper. Another pocket, but old book page, it's been punched. And that is from the lovely lavender kit. As is this. I love these larger size tickets. I think those are cool. And there's hydrangea. That's from Faith and Hope Designs. And these are the last of the purple butterfly page. Lavender page. This is a pretty page. This is from the Theodosia Square. I love this with the pocket watch. It says Paris. Little birdie standing on a thimble. And then there's this with another one of these large tags with the lilacs. Love the lilacs. That's from Tsunami Rose. Large with bouquet of lavender. This has one of my butterflies hanging off. Isn't that pretty? That's from Faith and Hope. These have a few of them have the sari silk on them. And then the last pocket. This is actually, okay, this is two pockets. The lavender, I mean the lace, and then there's a sheet of paper behind there to form another pocket. So there's the Eiffel Tower. That's from the, I'll have to do that. And this is a time card that's been stamped, bonjour, and it has a butterfly. And the last, the fourth of the marbled cards from the self-help deck. And then this is um, from Tsunami Rose. It's two large size tags that I didn't cut apart. I just kept them together to make a little mini journal and then sewed in some paper. And this is all just plain coffee dyed paper cut in the shape of a tag and in the front I have a little this was one of those coin envelopes and I cut it in half I used the top for something else and these pretty tickets these are um, Tsunami Rose her stuff is so colorful and then here's some purple tags from the Faith and Hope designs that's where this little pocket comes from, too. And I did a little stenciling. I did a little bit of that throughout the journal. I didn't really mention it. With the speed it up. <laughs> There's some tickets and a couple more tags. And then this is a two pocket. Uh, and we have a few more um, die cuts. Little pocket watch, little mini tag, little padlock, little uh, like a cameo, just some stuff to play with. Mm, a purple butterfly. So that goes here. So that's it. I got through that in 34 minutes. A lot of time saved. So, I'll just point out the metal book covers on the back, too. I used a long oval metal filigree piece here, brass. I use that so that when the, you have it tied and you're pulling on here to get it tight, you know, you don't ruin the book. After years of pulling on it, they can get soft and bend. So, that's why I do that. On the front, it didn't need it so much because the long piece goes around the back on this particular, the way I did it, because actually I did that purposely because I made the hole a little bit closer to the edge than I felt comfortable with. So instead of having this come around the front and pulling on that, I put the long side around the back, which I thought was kind of cool and kind of different. So anyway, there we go. It is fat. 
very fat. You can make it more a reasonable size by taking out 75 of the tags. You'll still have 75. <laughs> but I do want to show real quick. There is a companion to this, a mini matching. And I will do a flip through of this. Um, they're not identical, but I did use um, like cutoffs from these papers for this one. So... There's a lot of similar stuff, but this is, and it's it's very full for a small one too, with metal corners and stuff. So I will do a flip through of that, and I will post it probably the same time or maybe the day after I do this one. But anyway, I want to thank you all. It's been a while since I posted a video. I plan to try and do more and do them more frequently. I have some um, eco-printed papers that came out so pretty that I want to show off. I did four batches, and I learned a little bit from it. So I will um, I'll do a video of those and uh, tell you guys what I learned. Maybe you can use some of the information. Okay, thank you for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.